Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a VW camper van. It's going well. I've got to mark the other side because obviously I can't cut with this noise. Um, so yeah, get back to that. Okay. There's the two sides. Great. This is our little camper van. There you go, three bullets. Otherwise they can't <laughs> hear you over the camera. Right, okay. How's it going, Ellie? It's going well, yeah. We're just doing the last uh, wheel. So, yeah. Looks good. And that looks particularly good. Well done. So, uh, how's it going, Ellie? It's going well. I'm drilling the holes so we can put the threat saw blade in. Um, and I'm using a scrap piece of wood so it doesn't go obviously into the depth. I'm just unscrewing the blade so I can put it back in through the hole so I can cut it out. This is for if you don't have a threat saw. How are you doing that? I'm pulling it towards my body and I'm just cutting the next part of the truck out. So what's the alternative method? Oh right, well we, we use the um, power fret saw for this to help you out Ellie. And how do you do that? I'm going to push down there on the blade release, put the blade through the hole. Keep it in position, push down again, and there we go. Oh, and if you can't push down on the blade, you can loosen the tension, which is normally at the back of the machine, and yeah. that should make it easier to then get the blade out. Just filing down the insides because obviously can't use a machine for that. So, yeah, that's okay. really neat. That's really neat. Okay. How's it going, Ellie? Looks really neat. It's going well. Yeah, just did the doors using the van saw, the coping saw, and the sander. And uh, I can see those fit perfectly. Just lower them so the viewers can see. You know, that's a really good job. Excellent. We're now going to put the hinges on. Brilliant, that is. Okay. So what are you doing now, Dad? I'm marking out the hinges on both sides. There. You've done a good job cutting those doors. They're perfect. That's the central position for the hinge. There. And that's the mark there. And there. I'm going to put one and a half mil drill in there. That has to be vertical, guys, and it's got to go straight into the middle of that part of the door, the right back rail of the hinge part. Into the hinge about that far, the door rather. Okay. And now the hinge, I'm going to cut a piece off there, so we can go into that. We can trim it later. Place it in there. It's one hinge. Or use a ball pane hammer, don't use 
I'm not it, I'm damaging my it. That's it. Okay, I've marked the line all the way through. The, the hinge position should be the same on both ends. The door opens evenly. Start slowly. I'll trim that later. You can maybe even use that excess for the other. There you go. I can trim this off. Okay, that door should start opening. Ah, oh, we got it. We must have trim a little piece off that edge yet. Okay, I'll come back to you. Bailey, how's it going? It's going good. We've filed off the side here and on the inside, so the doors can open a lot nicer. Um, but yeah, no. That looks really smart. Which part did you have to file off on the inside of the door? So we've got this side here, and then on the outside here. On there, yes, I can see now. Well, I'll open that again, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good, excellent. The only thing is, this side is slightly out so it can't open all the way, but the other door is fine, so. Okay. Dad, how do we help Ellie get to the next stage? Right, it's a little bit more complicated. We've got the overall size there. It's just under 300, 190 millimeters long. There's the wheels we're using. You can buy these online. There's the base. The base is gonna sit on level there. Can you see? And then marked where the wheels will go. So in effect, that's in the wheel so you can see. It'll go like that. Okay, and we'll cut out this to allow a bigger wheel to go in eventually okay um, so just mark it out in line with the, your, the, the actual frame you've made whatever shape you, you've done does that help I think it will won't it yeah thank you right I'm just gonna finish off cut all the cuts from the base okay here we go Going. It's going well, so we've done the chassis, um, we've got the roof here which is full length, both sides have been sanded down to size, and then we have where the wood's going to go. Really? And that looks excellent. It does look good. And uh, it's all coming together near the doors. Brilliant. I can, I can really see that coming together now. So I'm doubling it up um, and I'll show you what it's looking like so far. So we've done the two bumpers either end, we've got front and back and of course the chassis in the middle, got one side, one side, and then the roof around the middle like this. Yeah, brilliant. I can see that. Oh, <laughs> really coming together. Excellent. Come back to you later then. Well done. You happy with it? Very, yeah. It's going very well. What a work. Oh, there's that bit we can show the um, the viewers. We had to make a base, the bumper parts. And then if you place that on there, that uh, forms the chassis. That's the, the rear, the back of the chassis. And the bumper part at the front. Yeah. There you go, Jake. One wheel. Now for the lathe. Okay. What are you doing, Jake? Um, I'm on the floor using the lathe. Well, that's neat. And what are you doing then? What are you making? I'm going to be making um, four of these wheels to go on my truck. Oh, that's excellent. And as you can see, I've already done that side and a uh, tread looking pattern there. That's really good. Do you want to show the viewers a little bit of your work then? Yeah.
I like that. Okay, yeah. Well, how's it going in the shed? It's going well. We're starting to put it together, not gluing anything yet, probably going to paint it first. All the parts are done though. So this is what it's gonna look more or less like. Obviously with the roof, wheels, doors, back. Um and yeah. Do you know that looks superb? It really does. I can really see that coming together. How clever. And what's that little white thing? Uh, that's the um steering wheel we found. Which oh is pretty look handy. at that. Oh the steering wheel. And that's the roof. Do you want to put the roof on to show the viewers? Can do. Because there's nothing stuck together, I've got to be quite careful. But yes, I can really see that coming together. And Jake's turning the wheels. Are you can have a go at turning some wheels on the lathe. I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> well done. Come back to you later, viewers. Hi, Ellie. How's it going? I can see you doing some painting there. Yeah, it's going well. Um, I'm doing the finishing touches before I want to put it together, so I don't make any mistakes. Um, once it's together. And yeah. They're the sides, are they? Yep. Two tone. That looks really good. And what's that in your hand? You shut the door, is it? Yep, door. Two doors. Brilliant. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing it together tomorrow. Brilliant. How's it going? It's going well, yeah. So it started it started to come together really well. Um both sides are done. Obviously you can see everything's painted. Um when it's painted all before putting it together. Um you've done the wheels. So they're a nice whip. Got tread on them as well. Um, these are the designs. So if anyone wants to copy, we can put a link at the bottom of the video. Um, with obviously the lamps, and this is the door side. And we can also put on lamps of the chassis and the roof. Um, and obviously all the little bits that go with it. Of course, you can make it your own size if you want. Yeah. So. Next we're doing the chairs, which are over there. Okay, yes, I've cut out the chair for you there, Ellie, from that block. And that's just a bit of coping saw work, quite hard, but you could do the band saw you've got adult guidance. And I thought for the, um, the rear uh, brake indicators, if we can cut some clear acrylic, well, red clear acrylic and put that on there, that'll look really effective. And for the indicators, we can use orange acrylic. You can get off cuts of this online very cheaply. Okay, so there are the chairs. We could just try and put it together, Ellie, to show them a little bit, could we, Ellie? Yeah, yeah. Okay, viewers, um, just bear with us. We'll see how this goes. This... So, not these yet. Yeah. Because these are lower down, you want these lower down so that you can see them as they are on the real VWs. Start with these. Put the chassis on top. We've curved one side because that's where the step will be for the doors. Got the front, which goes on the bumper. We have the back, which goes on the back bumper, of course. Got to try and balance it, obviously. We have one side and the other side, which sit on the bumpers. Back window which we haven't fitted yet so just imagine wheels chairs which will be higher up and then roof so yeah brilliant looks amazing and the wheels Jake you did on the lathe didn't you yeah but you can buy wheels just hold that there Ellie you can buy wheels online like this and they're about a pound each they're more expensive than maybe two pounds each but um, you can make your own if you've got that facility. But, you know, if not, okay. One, Very good, that is so One far. thing to mention on the front, we've got three bits of wood put together. So this is where the steering wheel's going to go. Um, and we've also hammered in these ones. These aren't glued in. We've drilled a hole and pushed them in, or hammered them in even. And then obviously the front. So this is actually four bits of wood stuck together to create the thickness. Jake, if you come round here, yeah. come through here, um, that's the the lid, uh, the back tailgate, and that'll be hinged. 
like that. Okay, and this will be hinged as well where the engine would go. Okay, and we're even thinking about putting um, a caravan on the back. There's our lockdown camper van. So can you show me how the chassis works? The chassis, that's the base part, Jake. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it is, it's made in three parts. Eddie's done a brilliant job, look. So there's the rear with the hookup for the trailer. And there is um, uh, the, the, the front there. And it's placed on like that, so it's all level, can you see? There's the wheel arch. So the wheels will go there. And the front, we may even put a, a wheel on the front like they do on the real thing. And we've put a little um, uh, steering wheel on it. You can buy these online for about 10p each. On the, <coughs> on the roof, you may ask, we put these little strips of a dowel rod, glued them on to make the detail for the roof. And that's the tailgate, the tail box, that's a piece at the back. Um, the side of the doors. I think she's done an absolutely splendid job. Splendid. Um, the, the side, the other side. And then in the next clip we'll show you putting it all together with Ellie. Right, I've lined up the chassis ready for drilling. Goes there. I've drilled four millimeter uh, holes in each corner so it goes into the other piece underneath. One there. Make sure they're all identical. Being careful not to go into the second layer. The second layer, use a one millimetre or two millimetre. Tighten it up, holding the chuck. And then, small hole there, small hole there, there, and there. And then you can countersink these which looks like I can find Ellie. You can countersink it here. I'll do one. Off the dust. Make sure it's still in line. So how are the screws going to work? And then that will go into the smaller hole underneath, which we drilled with that size drill, didn't we? But the bigger drill was that one. So the bigger drill is used for this piece, and the smaller drill just goes into the bottom. And, that, and we've countersunk it as well with countersinking piece there to allow the screw head. Just to go in, can you see? Can you get that? Yeah. That shape. And then put the screw in, hold it down, then turn it clockwise fairly firmly, and that will start going in. Come back to you. Is this how we're doing the axle holes? Yes, I'm just making the axle supports. Um, this is quite a tricky little job. So there's four here. And we've made it. Two on the front, two on the rear. Like this. And then the stick goes like this. Through there. Through there. Like that. Very nice. And the same on the rear. And actually, it looks quite realistic because the chassis on the actual van in real life is made in a similar way. So it will look slightly convincing. So that would be like that. Oh, and like that. Can you see? Like that. Okay. This is how we're going to put it together. So we'll start with the outsides. To rest on the bumpers. 
in the back. Eventually we'll have this one up here, but we haven't attached that yet. The two chairs in the front. Jake, if you come round. Um, faces. Can you see inside, Jake? Inside. Can you see the gear stick? There? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks quite good. Those blocks were carefully made, look, and curved. And then. Oh, roof. <laughs> so the roof will be glued wow. in. Yeah? It's amazing. We haven't glued it, so this is pre assembly. Now we've got the tail, so go around to the other side. Okay. And eventually we'll have the top window as well. Right, if you hold that in place and I'll clamp it, Jake. Ellie. The roof in the place. Ellie, the roof, in the, that's it. Okay, you put the tailgate in. Yeah? Yeah, that looks, looks amazing. Right. So we'll glue it and come back to you guys. Good Ellie. Hi Ellie. How do you think the whole project's gone so far? I think it's gone really well, yeah. So as you can see, I've finished, more or less. We've got the, we've drawn the VW on the front. We're gonna get that laser cut at some point. It's been painted. We've also done the inside. Oh yes. That's really good, isn't it? Yeah. Um. With the chairs and wood supporting the roof. Great, really is good. And how do you think the design went in the end? The design was brilliant, yeah, it was really good to have something to base the whole thing on. Um, yeah, it's the final product is exactly the same and measurements as the design, so they can be used again. Um, yeah. And the doors went all right, put the little pivots on the top there, yeah, I remember that. Yep. I great that. Oh, and the tail, just tell me so we can see the back. Yeah, and the tail comes up, and the engine hood. That comes up, yeah. Yeah, it should pull up a little bit harder. That's it. And you used little bits of acrylic for the lights, did you? Yeah, just plastic. Yeah. Okay. Right, do you want to run through some of the tools you use and some of the problems maybe? Yeah. Do you want to start, should we start from the design end? Any problems with the design? No, design was perfectly alright. Um, it was a fairly simple shape, so not too complicated. Okay, should we just point through so the viewers can see the tools? Um, do you want to just point through the tools and stuff? Yeah, so we've got the brass metal rod for the hinges, bit of dowel for the um, wheels and the axles. And axles, yeah. yes, that's it. Um, Pine wood we use for the seating and plywood. Just turn the plywood so they know, and the sides, the very side, because that's it. Plywood's man made wood. Um, it's very stable and straight and we used I think it was six or seven millimeter um, You can use up to um, 10 millimeter you can see there That worked all right and Then we use some templates here. I can see Yeah, these are handy to have um, Obviously always use a ruler, a ruler. Um, Evo stick yeah, in, perfect. In easy. We made the wheels on the Lave. Yeah. You can buy yours online, guys. Got um, the acrylic as well for the lights. We have the different drill bits. So here for making the hinges. Yeah. And the countersinking piece there, that on there. That's the countersinking piece. Uh, what's that? What's that there? Chisel. Chisel. Yes, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you knew that. That's a chisel, and that one is a cycling so, tee, tenon, tenon saw. Yeah, tenon saw. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Um, plane. Yeah, hand plane or block plane. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, mine's called blank. <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember these two. Coping saw. Coping saw. And what's that there? Square. Got to try square. Um, drill. Yeah, hand drill. Hammer, hammer. obviously. Um, actually I use this a lot. It's a... A file? file. Oh dear, dear. <laughs> Not doing very well here. And what's the small one called? It's like a needle. That's a massive clue. Needle file. A needle file. And this round one here is called a rat tail file. And of course, what are they? Pincers. <laughs> oh dear, Ellie. Oh dear, oh dear. Never mind. You, have you learnt a lot, do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. You sure? She had hack special, do you think? Right, okay, well it's been nice talking to you and perhaps we're, we're going to... What, what's the next one you want to make? Mustang. A Mustang, right, well we look forward to that one. I hope you like this Shed Hackers. And there you go, that's been made by somebody still in school, my daughter. So I'm sure you can do something similar, no doubt. Okay, well done, goodbye.